In a triangle, locate a point in its interior which is equidistant from all the sides of the triangle. So let us say this is my triangle ABC and let us say this is my point O which is equidistant from all the sides of the triangle. That is, uh, if I drop a perpendicular from O to AB, BC and CA, let us say uh, these are, it meets the three sides at D, E and F. That is, OD is perpendicular to AB and uh, OE is perpendicular to BC and OF is perpendicular to AC. Okay. So, in that case, uh, if O is equidistant from all the three sides, that means that OD is equal to OE is equal to OF. Correct? So, using these properties, I have to find a way in which I can actually locate point O just given the triangle ABC. So, that is what is the question. So, now, uh, what do I have here? I have that... Uh, OD is perpendicular to AB and OF is perpendicular to AC, right? And OD is equal to OE is equal to OF. So, if I consider triangle ODA and uh, triangle OFA, okay? That is this triangle and this triangle. If I consider these two triangles, then what do I have? I have OD is equal to OF and... Uh, OA is definitely is equal to OA because it is the same one. OD is equal to OF is given to me, which is this equation. And also, angle ODA is equal to angle OFA is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because OD and OF are perpendiculars. Why, why did I select the perpendiculars? Because to calculate the distance of a point from a line, uh, the distance of a point from a line is equal to the length of the perpendicular drawn from the point to that line. So, if I consider side AB, then the length of the perpendicular drawn from O to AB is the length of OD. So, that's why I considered all these as perpendiculars. So, if these are perpendiculars, then these angles are 90 degrees. Now, what do I have? Here I have, in these two triangles, right angle is present. The hypotenuse of both these right angles are, right angle triangles are equal. And one of the sides of both the triangles, right angle triangles are equal. So, if I use the right RHS criterion, I can tell that these two triangles are congruent. Correct? So, by RHS criterion, triangle ODA is congruent to triangle OFA. Fine? So, if these two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding angles will be equal. That is, uh, this angle will be equal to this angle. That is, angle OAD is equal to angle OAF. Correct? So, what do I see? This means that uh, OA is angle bisector of angle A. OA bisects angle A of triangle ABC. Correct? So, if I consider triangle ABC, the angle is the center angle. It is divided into two equal parts by the line OA. Therefore, what I can say? I can tell that uh, o lies on uh, angle bisector of angle bisector of angle A. Okay. Similarly, if I repeat the same procedure for these two triangles, okay, then I will also get. I can also write that uh, triangle ODB is congruent to triangle OEB, right, using the same RHS criterion, because OD is equal to OE, and I have the common hypotenuse, and both are right angles. So, by the RHS criterion, I can tell this also. So, again, angle OBD is equal to angle OBE. This means that uh, O also lies on uh, angle by sector. O lies on angle bisector of angle B also. Correct? Similarly, I can prove that these two triangles are also congruent. So, I can also tell that you can do it on your own by the same RHS criterion. You can prove that these two triangles are congruent and you will get that O lies on uh, angle bisector of angle C. 
correct so what did i get here uh, i can find angle i can find the point o how how can i locate it if i can just draw the angle bisectors of all the three angles of the triangle then all the three angle bisectors will intersect at this point which is o which is equidistant from all the sides of the triangle therefore uh, the point is a uh, point of intersection of angle bisectors of the triangle angle bisectors of all angles of triangle okay of the triangle you can consider any triangle and you will get the same result so this is a way to locate the point which is equidistant from all the sides of the triangle